Blackwater, known as Z, is back in action. At least that's according to reports coming from Somalia, where the private company is now suspected to be planning bombings in the capital city, Mogadishu. All of this in an attempt to launch a campaign against al-Shabaab fighters. Here to talk more about this resurgence of the company is investigative journalist Wayne Madsen. You have been covering the company for quite some time now. This is a company that has tried to uh, revamp its image, rename itself, and yet we're hearing things like this. What do you make of this? Well, I would note that uh, the, the, uh, Z, uh, formerly Blackwater, uh, I don't know how successful they're going to be at revamping their image since they've hired as their public communications director, the former spokesperson for Karl Rove. So we're, we're dealing with a company that's got very strong links to the Republican Party, to the extreme right wing in this country. And uh, the, the idea that there uh, may be fom fomenting problems in Mogadishu, engaged in false flag attacks to get the warring parties there at each other's throats is, is nothing new. The same charges have been leveled against Blackwater Z in Pakistan, including by former heads of the Pakistani Inner Service Intelligence Organization, the ISI. They've also been uh, thought to be behind uh, roadside bombings in Algeria that are later bo uh, blamed on the uh, Islamist uh, uh, Al-Qaeda in North Africa. I mean, Al-Qaeda's got more subsidiaries, it seems, uh, only rivaled by Blackwater, which uh, uh, we have this uh, case now where two of their uh, affiliate uh, employees working for a company called Paravant uh, are, were arrested recently by the FBI for uh, killing uh, some Afghan, uh, Afghanis after a traffic accident in Kabul. Um, now it turns out that uh, one of those individuals has a criminal record in Virginia for DWI. So uh, th this is no shock that we've got these drugstore cowboys running around uh, working for Blackwater Z, uh, causing all kinds of problems. But they're taking orders from above. They're not doing this necessarily on their own. Well, and talk about this sort of strange balance that we have. I mean, this is a company that essentially goes to all the places that the military goes, but it doesn't have to follow any sort of the same orders um, that, that the U.S. military does. Talk about this. Well, that's right. Uh, and, the, and the problem is when Blackwater engages in some sort of atrocity, whether it's in Kabul, uh, Baghdad, uh, Karachi, Pakistan, or Mogadishu, uh, they are wearing civilian clothes and they can blend in normally with the, with the population uh, of all the other civilians working in these various war zones. The problem is that when they, uh, the, the groups that they're attacking want retaliation, they find uh, the closest uniformed American military personnel. So U.S. military personnel, and this comes to me from people in the Pentagon, they're the ones that are uh, taking Taking the retaliation for uh, the shenanigans uh, that uh, Blackwater Z causes in these various countries. Well, I think that's a really important point to raise. I mean, this is a company whose uh, some of the things that they're accused of doing, that um, this is something that gives this country a bad name. I mean, doesn't the government want to get a little more involved? Well, I would note that the um, uh, uh, ch chairwoman of the uh, subcommittee, the House Intelligence uh, Subcommittee on Investigations and Oversight, Jan Schakowsky from Illinois, is proposing legislation that would ban Blackwater Z. Easier said than done. This is a very politically wired uh, company with a lot of uh, links to the Republicans and some Democrats. It's going to be very hard for her to do that. Well, besides allegedly having a role in Somalia, Blackwater is also running to get a billion dollar contract from the Pentagon to train the Afghan police force. You were talking a little bit about that, but it's just a little confusing to me how um, they can actually come back to the United States and, and have this potential. Well, it seems the worst uh, uh, atrocities Blackwater commits, the, the, the more likely they are to get these contracts. Again, I would note that Eric Prince, the uh, head of Blackwater Z, is, uh, is a it was very politically connected, uh, and I just don't see this uh, company going away unless there is, is some act, action taken by President Obama himself. He has the authority to cancel these contracts with this company, and so far he's shown no inclination that he's going to crack down on these private military contractors, what we used to call mercenaries. All right, Wayne Madsen, thank you.